Gotta go! Mom's calling! Dolphin mothers use individually distinctive acoustic signals to call their calves. The ability for mothers to communicate with their offspring in any species is very important for their safety and survival. As dolphin calves develop, regular separations are considered a sign of vitality and increased independence. When calves stray from their mothers, mothers can end the separation by pursuing and herding the calf to the desired location, an energetically expensive process, or she may use a more economical approach by acoustically signaling her calf to return. To date, little is known about the methods and vocalizations used in calf retrievals. Researchers in collaboration from Dolphins Plus, the University of Miami, and the University of Southern Mississippi set out to better understand how moms call their calves in non-urgent contexts. We know that dolphins communicate in a variety of different ways, including tactile interactions, visual displays, as well as acoustic signals. Moms and calves are first paired together at the dock. To begin the trial, the calf is either sent to another station or wanders away on its own. All of the other animals are asked to keep their heads above the water. This is to ensure that the mom and calf sounds are isolated on the recording. The trainer gives the mother a hand signal to retrieve their calf. Moms can choose to physically retrieve or acoustically call her calf to return. The trial is considered a success when both the mom and calf return to the original station together, regardless of the strategy used. Results from three mother-calf pairs suggest that dolphin mothers tend to use vocalizations when calling their calves as opposed to physically retrieving them. And when they do vocalize, they tend to use whistles and clicks. The whistles moms typically use to call their calves back were their signature whistles, or a unique whistle to that specific mom. This is an image of Ding's signature whistle. Remember back when Ding was calling Bibi? You can see that she was using both her signature whistle and a secondary whistle contour to encourage Bibi to come back to the dock. By examining the sounds in conjunction with the behavioral context, we as researchers will begin to understand the specifics of dolphin communication. While we hope you learned a little bit about mother-calf communication, there is still lots to be learned about how dolphins communicate with one another.